Hi guys, I hope you're doing great. Um, I miss you. And I thought this week we would do a book just for the fun of it. And it is called The Highway Rat by Julia Donaldson. And you can tell it's one of our library books. And ever since I got it in, probably the end of last year, I have really, really wanted to read it because it looked fun. Um, let me tell you a little bit about Julia Donaldson. You'll recognize her a little bit. Um, her, she is the author of some of the best-loved picture books out there, like The Gruffalo, Room on the Broom. All right. She grew up in London, with, she said, with her parents, her grandmother, her aunt, her uncle, her younger sister, Mary, and their cat, Jeffrey. Julia and her sister used to argue about who would marry Jeffrey the cat, because they thought he was really a prince in disguise. Julia used to write songs for children's television. One of these, named A Squash and a Squeeze, was turned into a book in 1993, and Julia started writing other books after that that launched her writing. Julia was named the Children's Laureate between 2011 and 2013 to celebrate her outstanding achievements for children's writing. The artist Peter Monkman painted a portrait of Julia, which can now be found in the National Portrait Gallery in London, which is really cool. When Julia wrote The Gruffalo, she spent a year thinking of ideas and planning, a whole year. Then it only took her two weeks to write the story. When she's not writing, Julia likes walking, cycling, playing the piano, and singing. Julia was awarded an MBE in 2011. This is awarded to people for a significant achievement or outstanding service to the community. The Gruffalo was voted Great Britain's favorite bedtime story. It has also been translated into more than 50 languages. In 2012, Julia went on a tour to celebrate libraries around the UK encouraging people to visit them at a time when many of those libraries were being forced to close. In November of 2013, Julia and her fans broke the world record for the longest chain of paper dolls to celebrate the publication of her book, Paper Dolls. All right, guys, that's just a little bit about Julia. Now we're going to read The, Hi uh, the Highway Rat. Highway Rat. The Highway Rat was a baddie. The Highway Rat was a beast. He took what he wanted and he ate what he took. His life was long, one long feast. His teeth were sharp and yellow. His manners were rough and rude. And the Highway Rat went riding, 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 riding along the highway and stealing the traveler's food. A rabbit came hopping along the road, then stopped with her paws in the air. For blocking her way was the highway rat who cried out, Who goes there? Give me your pastries and pudding. Give me your chocolate and cake. For I am the rat of the highway, the highway, the highway. Yes, I am the rat of the highway. And whatever I want, I take. I have no cakes, the rabbit replied. I just have a bunch of clover. The highway rat gave a scornful look, but he ordered, hand it over. This clover is bound to be tasteless. This clover is dull as can be. But I am the rat of the highway, and this clover belongs to me. A squirrel came bounding along the road, then stopped with a shake and a shiver. For reining his horse was the highway rat who thundered, Stand and deliver! Give me your buns and your biscuits, give me your chocolate eclairs, for I am the rat of the highway, the highway, the highway. Yes, I am the rat of the highway, and the rat thief never shares. I have no buns, the squirrel replied, I just have a sack of nuts. The robber snatched the sack and snarled, I'll have no ifs or buts. 
the these nuts are probably rotten these nuts are as hard as can be but i am the rat of the highway and these nuts belong to me some ants came crawling along the road then stopped with a somersault for baring his teeth was the highway rat who bellowed a deafening halt give me your sweets and your lollies give me your toffees and chews for i am the rat of the highway the highway the highway yes i am the rat of the highway and nobody dares to refuse we have no sweets the ants replied we just have this nice green leaf oh no you don't not any more declared the highway thief this leaf is nasty and bitter this leaf is as thin as can be but i am the rat of the highway and this leaf belongs to me with never a please or a thank you the rat carried on in his this way flies from the spider milk from a cart he once stole his own horse's hay the tri uh the creatures who traveled the highway grew thinner and thinner and thinner while the highway rat grew horribly fat from eating up everyone's dinner a duck came waddling down the road then stopped with a how do you do i see you have nothing the rat complained in that case i'll have to eat you i doubt if you're terribly juicy most likely you're tough as can be but i am the rat of the highway the highway the highway yes i am the rat of the highway and i fancy a duck for tea hang on quacked the duck for i have a sister with goodies you might prefer i know that she'd love to meet you and i'm certain that you'd like her for in her cave her deep dark cave right at the top of the hill are biscuits and buns aplenty and there you may eat your fill lead on cried the rat and they took to the road which seemed it would never end onward they rode and upward bend after bend after bend at last they came to a lonely cave and the duck began to quack she quacked good evening sister 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 and sister 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 a voice came from the cave came back do you have cakes and chocolates the highway robber cried and chocolates 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 the voice from the cave replied i'm going to take them the rat thief yelled his greedy eyes grew round and take them take them take them came back the welcome sound the highway rat leapt off his horse and to the cave he strode the duck took hold of the rain horse's reins and galloped down the road faster and ever faster following all the bends the plucky young duck went riding 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 galloping down the highway back to her hungry friends then they shared out the food from the saddlebags and feasted all night long bright were the flames of the bonfire loud was the music and song wild was the moonlight dancing merry the cheer and chat for now they could live in freedom safe from the highway rat and as for the rat in the echoey cave he shouted and wandered until he found his way out of the darkness on the other side of the hill a thinner and grayer and meeker rat he robs on the road no more for he landed a job in a cake shop a cake shop a cake shop and they say, they say he still works in the cake shop, sweeping the cake shop floor. The end. I hope you liked it, guys. Thought it was really fun. All right, so let me uh, talk over some things with you. The rat, he ends up getting his just desserts. I don't know if you've heard that saying, but he gets it both literally and figuratively. Literally, he ends up in the cake shop and he gets to eat dessert. All right, but figuratively, it means if someone gets their just desserts, they get what they deserve. They get what's coming to them. So he got both. All right, so tell me what you think through this, how the animals feel through this whole story. How, think about each animal he encountered on the road and he took their food. How do you think they feel when this is going on? And tell me, do you think there was anything that those animals could do? Was there anything, any way that they could have handled it all right what do you think about the duck here comes the duck waddling along and she tricks him 
So how do you think about, <coughs> what do you think about the way she tricked him? And what do you think about the fact that it was a duck who did it? And do you think that she came down the road planning this or just thought of it on the spur of the moment? All right, another thing to think about is the highway rat is described as a baddie at the very beginning and beast. Can you think of any other words that might be used to describe him? Then a fun thing you could do is imagine one of the animals in the story is being interviewed by uh, the newspaper. You can pretend you're one of the animals being interviewed by the newspaper. Excuse me, what would you tell them about your encounter with the highway rat? All right, the highway rat's manners were rough and rude. Can you make a list of good manners? Can you think of good manners in ways he could have been nice to others? And he never shares. That's one of his bad manners. Can you think about ways you could tell him why it would be nice for him to start sharing? And maybe he wouldn't have to steal then. All right, guys, underneath this, I have a link to a wanted poster if you want to. And this is what it looks like. You can print it out and you can make a wanted poster of the rat. And if you do and you want to send it to me, you can go ahead, send it to my email. And then uh, another link I have underneath is about Echoes. You can find out more about Echoes. I have two really cool, uh, one cool website and one cool YouTube that you can learn more about Echoes. All right, guys, I hope you enjoy. I will see you next week. Bye.